So after our hunt a couple of days ago where we finally reached the max Bloodhound companion level with Rocky, I wanted to come back to Yukon and do a hunt just completely focused on wolves and see if we could maybe get a little more out of that brave trait because we didn't get to see too much in the other hunt but we only really had two different packs of wolves attack us so what I did was actually go and clear all the hunting pressure from the west side of the map so we have plenty of room to work with and actually in the process not only did we get a level 3 duck but once we got that we also had maybe the first time I've ever brain shot a duck out of the air. I really can't remember ever doing that but we got that in a pretty good sized diamond harlequin at 7.4 uh, trophy rating but anyway we're gonna go out here we're gonna see what we can find with Rocky and like I said maybe see if there's a bit more with that brave trait than we saw last time. We'll have to see if they'll cooperate but that's pretty much exactly what I wanted to see. There's a huge pack of wolves actually stalking and that's why I wanted to start early in the morning because when they're feeding they do a lot more that there's actually a pretty good size one too so we have the 303. What I'd like to do is get him alert. The fact that the wind's bad kind of helps us there. And he is aggressive, so hopefully those others are a part of the same pack. And if that's the case, they'll all come over here and be aggressive. I don't know where they got to. I sure don't see them, though. Well, apparently they are. But they're just kind of standing up there. It's not necessarily a guarantee they're aggressive with us. There could be like a bison or something in the area. It's not like they really come over here. Maybe now it's going to bring them down here. So we're not going to this time do a lot of standing around and like hoping that Rocky chases them away. We're going to be actually trying to take them out because eventually I do want to get that albino female wolf. This could be a problem. Unless they're fleeing? I'm not too sure. Well, anyway... Uh, I do want to get these respawns, so we're not going to stand around like I said. We're going to try to take them out, but yeah, they're going to fleeing, so... Also, Rocky sort of followed them up there. I have no idea actually what to make of all this, but we're going to try to get what we can. And what wolves often do as they're fleeing is kind of turn and stop. So we may get a lot of opportunities for shots as they go up through here, but I did mention... I want to get an albino female, and we're not going to do that by shooting all the male wolves, so any opportunity at ones that go broadside we're going to try to take. And I guess we're just going to be happy with the three that we got. The other pack is at least kind of doing what I was talking about. So that should get that one. I think there's only one other female in there, and I'm not sure where she is. I guess it's that one right there. So if we could... I'd like to get that one as well. I know we're causing a ton of hunting pressure, and that's why I cleared it all at the beginning. Pretty sure that's going to be enough to bring her down, even if it's like an intestine shot. And we have Rocky with us to go and track, but I don't even know at this point if we claimed the one that we shot that was over here. We'll have to run around and pick stuff up. I know there was the mythical and then maybe three others. It was a bit of a chaotic start, but pretty small mythical there, under 70 kg. And I was kind of open to maybe get some red foxes as we go along. I would say any zones in this area got deleted, but that was kind of the other reason that I wanted to clear hunting pressure, because one reason we've stayed away from Yukon Valley is that I didn't want to go deleting fox zones as we're working on the diamond red fox grind, but hopefully there's not going to be too many scenarios where we're doing that right by the water where there might be a fox drink zone. But those were the two males. I think there's only two other females to go and claim then. Or actually, there may have been three. That was, I guess, one that we shot. Maybe that was standing around afterwards. I think we made one good shot on a fleeing one and then one not-so-good shot. And I think despite the fact that Rocky just ran right by this one, he should be on the trail of the other we hit, and as long as he can find that, we should be good. And luckily for us, he was able to. So that one, yeah, not the best shot, but... That's part of why we brought the 303, because even some of those less ideal shots, it does seem to bring them down. So I think there are two male red fox in this area, and I'm definitely not passing up the chance to get a couple of those for respawn, so we should be able to hit that guy, ideally in like the brain or neck, but I think we're just off to the side. That'll work for that, and I thought at least that these tracks were fairly fresh. They might be older ones. I guess it is very old. And it's kind of heading off that way, but it's a heavier fox track, so... I mean, Grey Wolves are feeding right now, so it doesn't matter necessarily where we go. They could be anywhere, kind of just 
chasing a moose or a caribou, so I don't think tracking a fox is a bad idea. And then, what tracks are these then? I guess there's also a female, but it makes the most sense to follow the male. And actually, somehow, we got a lung there in that follow-up. And at least assuming that's the right one, didn't take very long. That actually isn't the same female as the track that we had, because the female track was 5 to 8. That'll get him. And if we can, I'd like to make a decent shot on that one. And usually they slow down quite quickly, just because she has a chance of being a gold as well. Might have been just a little low since the 243 drops off quickly, so unless she was slow down again, we're probably missing out on that. Might have actually been good had she not turned, but she's going to end up just kind of sprinting that out, so we'll lose that on that one, but hopefully the male is going to make it. I mean, the important part is the respawn, but when they make gold, it's kind of nice to actually feel like you got a good size one. And we'll have to see about the female, but a couple of foxes down and maybe going up here and tracking her will lead us to another pack of wolves. I'm not seeing any at least, but I know this area kind of north of the ears on the wolf head lake are actually quite good in the morning. But that would have been a gold as well. She's heavier than male, but they actually had the same trophy rating. But yeah, just a little bit actually straight under the heart. So had we aimed a little higher, probably would have been a drop shot, but unfortunately, no such luck with that. Maybe they did actually lead us to a pack of wolves. And actually, there's another mythical in there, but that's a full pack. So we'll probably kind of take the same approach. We'll shoot the mythical first, even though, like I said, we're trying to get an albino female. It's still nice to shoot the higher scoring ones. This time we're not going to have aggressive wolves, but maybe we can do the same thing and get a couple of kind of like females that hang around a little bit. It's tough when they kind of go in circles, but that should be enough to bring that one down. Unless maybe we were too low. That's definitely going to be a little better on that one. And I think maybe that's the one we hit. Usually they start running around like a lot faster if they're going to go and bleed out though. And we know that a flesh wound gets him, but that's the one. It would be nice to like get a better hit so she's going to go down. I think that'll be it. And that's going to be three there, so maybe we shouldn't actually go deleting all of our zones. So I think we'll call that good unless one was kind of trotting our way. If they keep going that way, we may take one more shot yet. I mean, it's just so tempting when those shots are a lot easier. Because I think that's going to be lungs. At this point, it doesn't matter how many we go for, so... Might as well get that one, too. And I think all this left is males, so... We'll go around and collect everything. I think now we ended up shooting five out of that pack, and... Like I said, another mythical up here, too. And of course, everything was so chaotic at the beginning, I didn't really get to talk about it at all. But, like, it seems like every time we finally get wolves to flee... There's a potential other explanation because they stayed aggressive up there for so long. It may have been like a timing thing, but we hadn't even hardly got to do anything and that first pack fled. And I just want to see like evidence of Rocky chasing them away that I can't kind of write off as something else. I do kind of think that may have been what it was, but there was no like extra barking or anything that would make me think that's what that uh, was. Like that there was a brave trait kind of activating there, but... We've seen it a few times now with the wolves where they do just flee. I just want to know like for certain that that's what it is and it's so hard to know. But anyway, as we're going along, I've lost track of how many wolves we killed. But we've gotten a couple of red fox and quite a number of female wolves, so we're doing pretty good as far as our respawns for both of those species go. So maybe at least a little bit of an opportunity to see what happens, actually. I thought it was just the one, but it's an entire pack of them coming up here. So I was going to, if it was just the six, let them, or let him, kind of just go and be aggressive and then we'd deal with it after. But I guess since they're all here, we better start taking them out. And if we can, uh, we'll maybe be a little slow. And I want to actually get the females, but yeah, I don't know. It's not like he's actively doing anything to keep us from getting attacked. Now we're actually starting to get some females. I think that's the last one. Not our best shot, but that should take care of that. And actually, there's still one running off down there. So, no uh, brave trait, but another pack of wolves for respawns. I wonder if there's anything to them being more aggressive in the morning. Because 
A lot of times when we hunt them in their rest zones, it doesn't seem like they'll go aggressive, but most of the ones we're seeing today actually are. And that's definitely a positive when it comes to trying to get respawns, because they're way easier to get all of them when they're attacking rather than fleeing, obviously. I do have to say it's quite nice hunting red fox in the daylight for once, because we spent so much time by now hunting them at night in their drink zones, but it sure is nice actually being able to see them. And so far we've been fairly lucky with the size of the males, because I'm used to seeing a bunch of like level 3s and 4s. But much like when we hunt them in their drink zones, we're going to take out the males and the females. We talked about this a long time ago, but it does seem like if you only shoot the males and let the females go, you don't seem to get as many male respawns. Taking out both of them though, like the pair, seems to get both to respawn elsewhere on the map, so when we get those chances, we'll take them. And so far, like I said, we're actually doing good on respawns for both species. And not only that, not doing too bad with the size of them either. Had we made a better shot on the female earlier, we'd have three gold red fox. And honestly, we're lucky we even got that one. Next shot is not what I was going for over there. But then we also got our little level three female, which again, we're kind of lucky. We got a lung and then spinal cord to bring her down. I just cannot believe what we're looking at out here. That is finally an albino gray wolf and it's a male. I mean, it's a good size male, so I can't complain, but it's next to an egg white female, of course. So almost exactly what we're looking for. I think, I'm not sure why they're suddenly fleeing. Maybe we got too close. A lot of times they hang around. If he'll go broadside again, we're gonna try to take him. I'm not too sure what happened. I think that's still gonna be good and into a lung. So we should be fine. I just, <laughs> that's the reason when we do most grinds that I don't tend to shoot females. Like when we did the great one grind, I would leave all the does because I didn't want to stumble into a rare doe and just feel disappointed. And it really doesn't make much of a difference. We're still shooting like all the bucks or in this case, we're still shooting all the female wolves that we want to respawn as rares. It's just a little unfortunate to like almost get what you're after. But like I said, the fact that it's a seven, I do believe that's a guaranteed gold. I don't see any way that could possibly end up being a silver. So we'll likely do something with that in a multi-mount. We may have to reconsider. I'm gonna have to go back and look. Maybe we can still use that. Or actually, now that I'm thinking of it, the reason that I specifically wanted an albino female is because there's only one male in each of the multi-mounts and I wanted to keep our diamond red-brown because I think that's quite cool. And then we also have the max score diamond common and I didn't want to take that out of the lodge either. It's just hard to get, again, that was a vital hit back there, so what should be an albino gold wolf and not put it in the main lodge. So we may really have to reconsider, but that's pretty cool to run into, despite the fact that it was next to an egg white female to just kind of troll us a little bit. I wonder if he landed. Yeah, that's not too bad. Let's get Rocky to sit down and uh, get a picture with him. I don't think Rocky's too pleased to be that close to the wolf, but kind of looks all right anyway. He's kind of baring his teeth because he's growling, but let's see for this guy. It is a 36.8 gold albino, where 36 is gold for them. It still looks really cool, and our only other albino gray wolf that I can remember was also a level 7. Now, we did actually shoot an albino female forever ago in the game crash in multiplayer, so unfortunately we're still going to be on the hunt for that, but we'll definitely taxonomize that. Like I said, we'll have to think about it and maybe find a place for that in the main lodge. It's just tough to not put that in there, especially after we've kind of worked quite hard for it, even though it's, like I said, not quite what we wanted. But at this point, I wanted to track down and get that egg white as well. It actually is a level four, and I know I've done this a bunch of times, but whenever we get an egg white or red brown female that's like a higher level, I always do end up saving the harvest because my ultimate goal with the gray wolf multi mounts and the reason that I specifically want an albino female is between the two, the bison and alpha wolf, we could have one of all the fur types. So we have the common diamond currently. We have a melanistic female, a egg white female, and then a red brown male. So if we could do the albino female instead of what is currently a red brown female, we'd have everything. But because we don't have the albino female yet, we're still kind of waiting on that one. And I mean, I guess one of the more useful bugs, if this level seven is just gonna stand there. We'll go ahead and drop him too and maybe get another albino male to spawn before we get our albino female, but yeah, I mean, I guess this is probably our highest scoring egg white, so 
We'll taxamize it. It's not like it hurts that much to spend the cash and have it. We'll grab our 7, and I think we are going to go back to the lodge with our duck and our level 7 albino. Still don't know what we're going to do with it, but even if it's temporary, we'll at least place it. So one decision that was easy at least was taking down a small gold melodistic mallard for our diamond harlequin today. Because it was 7.45, which is quite solid. And I had considered taking down our piebald gold pronghorn, but I just like the horns too much. So what I did instead was dismantle a multi-mount that I quite like actually. The lesser kudu one called the lookout. So now we have two diamond kudu up here on the wall. Because I didn't want to just not have the kudu displayed anywhere. And then back here in this room, we put together a new alpha wolf multi-mount because I just couldn't not put it in the main lodge. I mean, a gold albino wolf is such a cool trophy, so I think that's pretty cool to have them all side by side. And even though we now have two alpha wolf multi-mounts, I think we'll probably keep the lodge that way, at least for now, because it's too cool to not have displayed somewhere in here. But anyway, I still don't know if we got to see anything with Rocky using the brave trait. That first pack, I really felt like it could have been, but... I'm so hesitant to say, like, for sure that that's what it was in any of these cases, because there's just not much to really say what it is, but I like having them there and learning more about what they can do, and I think that Brave trait could still be useful depending on just how frequently it activates, because if that's what it's been every time, it's probably been maybe 3 out of 5 or 3 out of 6 wolf packs he's actually gotten them to flee, so it might work quite well, it's just that we don't really know exactly what's doing it, but anyway. We'll hopefully get to find out as we continue hunting with him in the future. So I think that is going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.